Hello Cancer, this is Faye and this is going to be a reading for the 14th of February for St Valentine's Day so I thought I'd get a little love reading out there for you. If you haven't already subscribed please do, it really helps my channel and give us a little thumbs up if, if you like the reading um, and a wee share, that would be fabulous. Uh, let's see, what I've done, I have pulled out a, a card from the Angels Love deck and some cards. This side here, um, Cancer, I'm thinking upon it as being the person who is listening to the reading. This side here is for the, the other person in the relationship. If you don't have a person in your life, then this could be the energy that is coming in for you. If you listen to this and this side doesn't pertain to you, but you feel this side does, then do it that way. Remember, this is a general reading, so just go with whatever it is that feels right for you, the message. If it doesn't feel right for you at all, then that's fine as well. It is a general reading, so it's no big problem. Okay, Cancer. Right, let's get started. The, the, the card that I pulled out for the religious factors, and it says, it says on it, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, what I think about that is, you know, we all have, our, our parents, our family have such a huge influence on our moral, um, you may not think it, but how we think and how we go about our kind of day-to-day -day moral instincts of right and wrong. You could have had someone that would say to you when you're, oh, I would never take somebody back if they did that to me, or, <laughs> or you know, um, you, you walk away for certain things, that kind of idea. Or someone who would, you know, I, would, I wouldn't live with someone, I'd, they would need to, I'd have to get married. That kind of idea that I'm talking about for the religious factors is what you deem to be your kind of moral compass, if you like. So, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, as soon as I say that, I wonder if you're maybe, or the other person is maybe someone who wants to, would rather get married rather than just cohabit. And this could be having, you know, a kind of, a friction within your relationship, Cancer. When I look over at this side, where this to be yourself, you get Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is to me, because this is a love reading, is that you are definitely going to start to look at things, your emotions differently. I think you are going to start to try and be more in the, the alignment of what this other person is looking for with the six of cups here and you could be I mean, it's, the cups you could be looking at the way you were in the past in certain relationships times when you were really happy um you know almost an innocence if you like this kind of innocent happy childhood or young relationship and this is what is bringing up these emotions for you at the moment cancer i think you're really you know at this time you're looking at times going by on the other side here we have someone who is certainly juggling and i think they're juggling their emotions quite um between wanting to fulfill your expectations but at the same time keep what they believe to be um, how they want to live their life and I think they're really trying to juggle because we've got a Hierophant here and when you see the Hierophant that is like um, ha like higher education, churches, you know things that are kind of governmental they could be looking to what maybe make an offer of marriage this could be an offer of marriage coming in when we see the Hierophant because it's the kind of papal card, it's the kind of religious card, which is strange when it comes out with this this other card. So I really do think that um, for Cancers, there's a lot of discussion about what makes the relationship work. Is it marriage? Is it something else? The two of these have to have the same moral compass, I think, when it comes to this, um, or it's just not going to work. If you're going to be so different, because this person really does look like they don't quite know what to do. This other, whether it's yourself or the other person, 
looks like they're not quite sure how to take this relationship. Do ask, do, do propose and say yes to being married. I'm not quite sure just as yet. When I come over to this side, we've got the Three of Wands. And it looks to me that you are definitely waiting on something. You're, you're waiting. You're, I really do think you're waiting to take a relationship further. Because with being the three, you want to expand. So I really think that, um, Cancer, you are definitely looking to take this relationship onto a new a new um, path. Because you're certain, you're waiting, you're waiting on this offer coming in. This offer of more commitment. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles here, and I think you're willing to bring quite a lot to this this particular partnership. You know, you're, you're going to work hard at it. You're looking to really get back to maybe where you have been um, and, and expand it a happier time. Expanding this happier time with the Ace of Pentacles, you've got a lot to offer, Cancer. You're you're a person that is. Um, open to giving more affection, more commitment to the relationship and a more stable environment which is what every relationship needs. What's that saying that they have? When you've got financial problems, love flies out the window. So I think this is what you are trying to um, make sure that you are financially able to sustain a, um, a, a, a committed relationship. Over here we've got the Four of Cups and I think this person's feeling quite melancholy as in they're almost kind of sitting back and oh I don't know what to do, kind of bored. Um, you know, I, I think maybe the partner in this situation is not committing quite as much as yourself. I really do. I think that they're, they're, they're sitting back and letting you do all the the hard work to keep the relationship going because remember they're still not quite known what to do about well you know what, what do I do do I marry do we not do we commit do we still see what that that kind of idea and they, they are acting like they don't quite they're not really that bothered by the looks of things we've got the queen of swords here and the queen of swords is an air sign it could be, I always think a Libra when I see the Queen of Swords, but it could be a Gemini or um, a, an Aquarian, sorry. This could just be this person is going to almost, you know, they're maybe going to have to get their heads really screwed on. And this is what I think when I see the Queen of Swords. This is somebody who's very good at getting a clear head and speaking, speaking their mind, and I think this is what's going to need to be happening here. You could be looking, have got rose-coloured glasses on when, when I see the, the Six of Cups. I'm sorry to say, Cancer, you could be looking at this relationship like it's, it was all that and, you know, and a box of chocolates, and it's maybe not been that at all. And this person is, is now bored. But there's more, it's almost like you need to really set yourselves down and get something sorted out and I think this is where the Queen of Swords comes in. Someone's going to definitely need to keep a clear head because whatever else it is that's going on, we need someone who is going to snap this person out of this particular way of being or way of thinking. This could be somebody coming into the other person's life that is definitely going to jolt them jolt them into making a decision of how they want to go forward with you. And I do think, I'm sorry to say, Cancer, that this could be a time where you, I mean, we've got the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords here. And I always think when I see the Three of Swords, it is a breakup or it's been a three-way party thing. This other person may have a Queen of Swords in their life, I'm sorry to say, um, Cancer. You, and even your, your own cards came out as well right beside it, the chariot, the chariot being the sign of cancer. You are a, you are the, the rider of your own destiny in this cancer. You are able to take yourself out of this heartache. I don't think this person's worthy of you. I think you've been given a lot of love and commitment and security and this other person's not been caring. Oh, and if you're not in a relationship, watch out for this person because I really think that um, 
If they're not in the same model fibre as yourself, it's not going to work. These need to be on the same page. These, you know, if you just want to be monogamous and have this one person and this other one doesn't want to do it, then it's not going to work for you. I feel that, that, that even the card here, we've got the Six of Pentacles, the card that, you know, um, it's like what you give out, you get back. It's like everything has got to be equal, you know, in a position of give and take. And I really don't know if this person's in that in that state of mind where they, they can give and take. I think there's a lot of taking and not a lot of giving. The Ace of Wands, a new, a new passion. I really do think this person could be could have another person on the go. I'm I'm sorry to say that, Cancer. When I say it's a Valentine's reading, good lord. Um, I'm going to draw another few cards because I don't want to leave it like that. I, I think you just. You, you can go in another direction, Cancer. There's no reason for you to stick in a relationship where you're not happy and this person is not giving you what you deserve. With the Ace of Wands here. They could be just a very overly sex person that just likes to have multiple partners and you just don't want that. You want to go back to a time of some kind of innocence where everything was just um, about being decent, if you like. Or just being, just the two of you. I mean, this, be, this could be somebody you've known as a child. You may have been with this person since you were children. Because there's two children in the, in the garden. And you have just kind of grown apart. Or this person just looking to expand his, or the, I'm saying his. It could be a female. I mean, men listen to these as well. Or as I've said, this could be you and this could be them. You could be just wanting to break away. And this person's like, no, I, I want you to stay. The Page of Pentacles, an offer. And you, you could, do you know, I don't think you're going to walk away, Cancer. We've got the Page of Pentacles here. And I really do think that you are going to be off. You know, you're still at that stage, but you, you want to give it a shot. You want to still offer a new beginning, a new, a, a new offer of stability. And I think you're just not ready at this time to say goodbye. I think that's all it is. Um, what do we have over here with this person? Stick around or this energy. If this isn't, if you're not in a relationship, be careful of this person. You'll spot them a mile away. They'll, they'll never commit. It'll be a case of um, they'll say they'll phone or they don't phone. They wait for weeks, then they contact. That kind of idea. Um, just give them a body serve. There's no give and take. Well, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. I don't normally do reversals, right? But that did come out in the reverse. And I feel with this person, this is karmic. And when you see the Wheel of Fortune, it's, you know, if you're in a bad space, and it's, it, it, well, it does, you do come out of it. It's almost like it's a time, a period of time where, um, Things do rotate and do a full life circle. This was in the reverse, and this would tell me this person's not going to change. I'm sorry to say that, Cancer. But what's that all saying? Forewarned is forearmed, so take it as a warning sign. If it doesn't relate to you, then don't worry about it. Good, I'm glad. Right, Cancer. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and I hope to see you later in the month of February. Bye-bye.